ABS-CBN has joined another maritime patrol of the armed forces of the Philippines in the West Philippine Sea. And this time, our news team has witnessed the swarm of hundreds of Chinese vessels now massing up in several parts of the area. We have on the line Shara Zombrano, who is in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. Shara, can you tell us what you saw? Yes, we did, we did just get off the plane from having flown for a good seven hours around the West Philippine Sea. And that is indeed what we saw. We now understand uh, why it is that the Philippine authorities now have taken such a tone of concern and a tone of defiance against China um, in terms of what's going on in the West Philippine Sea. We saw nothing less than what you would call a swarm of Chinese vessels, particularly in areas that are close to the artificial islands that are built by China. Uh, one particular reef, Nikki, was quite unsettling to see. It's called Gavin Reef. Um, around it, it, you could see easily a hundred ships. And it's, it's quite hard to be accurate about it from a moving plane up above, especially since some of these ships are being tied together um, and to appear as one group. Uh, we, we saw similar um, formations in Julian Felipe Reef just a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, this is the same method we are seeing now, except in shorter lines or in smaller groups. No longer that phalanx of, uh, uh, lo of, of a long phalanx of ships like we saw at Julian Felipe. Now there are groups of anywhere from six, seven, or eight ships. Um, that if you look at it from above, it looks like one just one vessel, but that's why the Maritime Patrol flew low at Gavin Reef and we were able to see just the, the fact that there are several vessels tied together. Um, another reef that's worth noting is something called the Chigwa Reef. This is part of the Union Banks, which is on the other side of Julian Felipe Reef. Again, the same method. There is it. Ships are scattered. There are groupings of ships tied together and these are the big uh the big vessels the commercial fishing ships not the wooden small types of uh, fishing uh, ships that we see from say vietnam or even uh, the philippines we also saw pagasa island there aren't there isn't a swarm of ships at pagasa island but we saw what the residents locals have been complaining about we flew from above and saw a China Coast Guard ship and four other uh, Chinese uh, fishing vessels believed by Philippine authorities now to be militia that are boxing out the locals and guarding over the four sandbars that used to be the common fishing ground of the locals of Pagasa. Now we understand the fear, the apprehension that the locals are talking about when they say that they can no longer approach those areas and fish in peace. Because that would mean they would have to confront those large commercial type vessels and their counterpart China Coast Guard ship. Um, another site that is worth noting and a cause for concern, not just of the Philippine military, but of uh, the Philippine government in general, is still the Julian Felipe Reef. We went back there. We, we already flew over it the first time we joined the Maritime Patrol, but we uh, flew over it again, this time with the clear skies. And we saw that most definitely the Chinese fishing vessels have not left Julian Felipe Reef. If anything, um, the long line, the long formation of ships has just been broken apart. There are far less ships. There are far less than 200. Um, but they are definitely still there. And they are still there around Felipe, the Julian Felipe Reef itself. Um, so this is the reason why suddenly uh, the National Task Force for the West Philippine Sea, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Department of National Defense are all trying to drum up attention, not just locally, but also internationally, to call out China and to have them pull out all of these uh, vessels. Um, because I, if I could describe it, it looks like from above, it looks like a table full of ants. At any given photo that I take, I could easily take uh, photos of say 30, 38 ships in one go. Um, it is that many. So it remains to be seen how China will respond to this very strong condemnation from the Philippines. And it does still remain to be seen 
what these ships are actually doing here because the authorities have already said that they do not seem to be doing any kind of fishing activity, whether it's day or night, Nikki. All right. Thanks for that update, Shara. You and the team stay safe.